So the union of architecture and luxury are not often synonymous. When people design a architectural home, it forgoes a lot of luxury. And when people design a luxury home, it forgoes a lot of architecture. This house is an example of a union between both architecture and luxury, where neither have compromised, neither have had to give way to each other to create what is a, a seamless blend of a luxurious yet beautifully sophisticated architectural home. This union of Joe Adset Architects and Agrea Build has really balanced the two perfectly. You've got everything you want, but there is a simplicity and a beautiful execution in the way the design and the construction has occurred. They've poured a lot of soul, a lot of time, a lot of effort into it, and it really shows because the level of execution and the level of detail and the refinement of the materiality is exceptional. There's no better home in Brisbane. I didn't want to display this home in the typical manner where it's, you know, fast cars, helicopters, planes. This is an incredible example of architecture in Brisbane and you'd be, you'd be really hard pushed to find a better home that's better designed and better built. Venetia plaster on the ceiling on the outdoor deck is beautiful, like so textural. And the everyday person is probably not even going to pick up on the fact that it's there, but I know it's there and I really appreciate it. It's a sexy house, but in a sophisticated way, not a 3 a.m. in the valley kind of way. And I, I, I just feel like most people would have just done the standard and just done the big box and the big view and rested on their laurels, where this house is, is it's got the view. Like, there's no two ways about it. There's 30 to 33 lineal meters on both floors of view. I mean, I think only the powder room and the laundry don't have a view. And it could have been just that, but it's not. It's incredibly beautiful, it's intimate, but it's also spacious. So the manipulation of the space is perfect. I feel like a lot of these houses are pushing the boundaries so much on the form that they're not giving way to the landscape. And I mean, the landscape is so incredibly important. I mean, to have that incredible view line is one thing, but then to be able to look back onto this green space is another. We're in a house on a hill with a view that you don't want it to feel like you're just living in an apartment. Like this is still a home, it's still a house. But this house, it is restrained where it needs to be, but it's bold where it wants to be. So what I mean by that is that it's not done in vain. Everything here is designed so beautifully that the harmony and the symphony between the architecture, the form, and the function being the build is absolutely harmonious. Undoubtedly, the thing about this home is the word sophistication comes to mind. The blend of the internal, external, the opportunity to either open the front, close down the back, manipulate the spaces. You can make it a large entertaining space. You can make it an intimate space to watch TV with the family. This was designed as a family home. It was designed so that people could enjoy living here comfortably. It doesn't feel like you have to be on show. It feels like you can just casually enjoy the space. The particular site is really interesting. And so I think the design and the conceptual architecture it was really brave. I mean, you get given a triangular block and it's, well, what, what do you do with it? How does a triangle house work? And, and how does it work well? Well, this is it. This is how it works well. This house could have been so many things. It could have been ostentatious, it could have been loud, it could have been garish, but with the curvature of the paneling, which is also incredibly low maintenance, it has really cemented itself onto the hill here in a very, very sympathetic and almost organic shape. It sort of follows the street around and with the bends and the curves, there's a, there's a subtleness to it. It's a, it's a sophisticated and, and soft. It's not hard, it's not garish, it's not in your face, but it's certainly incredibly elegant. The thing with Joe's work is that he, he doesn't really give way to, to fads and there's a refinement in what he does and it shows. And I think that the materiality and the palette and how this home is functionally designed will absolutely stand the test of time. In 20 years time, this home is still gonna look amazing and I think it'll still feel amazing. There's nothing in here that's gimmicky.